Hey children, what are you doing now? I'm a doctor now equals, the program in my school really pushed law to the gifted kids, and lots of them became lawyers, but I never liked it. I found myself a great hospital and carved out a niche for myself in medical simulation and education, alongside my clinical job, and I love it equals. Drugs. After ditching high school and doing low-end jobs for 10 years, I've now sorted out my basic education and entered university. In my 30s, doing so-so, mediocre career, unsatisfying relationships. Most of my gifted friends about the same. A handful became very successful, some are permanent students with collections of letters, but several more are messed up or dead. Being depressed in my room because I realized too early that life is pointless. Finishing up my bachelor's degree and stressing about how being a teacher doesn't feel like living up to my potential. Disappointing my former teachers and professors by majoring in visual arts rather than mathematics. Math didn't make me happy the same way that painting did. I can still bring those skills into my art, so it all works out for me though. I'm basically a stay-at-home mom to a pile of kids. I do own a business though, I just kind of manage it but the employees run it themselves. I pay myself enough money to pay rent. A lot of the employees, all female staff, are the breadwinners and some are single moms and things like that so I would say it's pretty successful given how little time I spend actually working. My husband didn't really speak English through school but now he makes heaps of money at a big corporation. We're pretty successful and happy. I don't know if being in the gifted program meant anything though. If anything, it made me lazy and just kind of ride off the fact that people thought I was smart. I'm in college for computer science, and must I say this, I'm a significant dumbass. Burnt out and retired at 45, but saved enough so it's fine. Now I do climate activism because we are fucked. Being gifted academically only gets you so far. If you lack some interpersonal, leadership, financial or entrepreneurial skills you'll find you aren't going to be ahead for very long. If you learn every day, minimize risk, and take the chances you'll be doing better than alright. I have 45 credit hours from college about 20 years ago. I made the dean's list for my grades back then. I dropped out due to pregnancy. I have no idea what career I would choose if I ever finished. I'm a part-time worker at a school. I might finish my associate's degree to substitute teach. I'm a nurse and actually heard a really familiar, distinct voice one day at work. I stopped right away because I knew it was my former gifted teacher even though we were in a different city from where I grew up. It was really nice to see them although sad they had a family member in the hospital for so long. Graduated from an Ivy League school a couple of years ago, graduated with a B average. Became a consultant, and broke six figures a year and a half into the job. So, things worked out well for me, but being at an Ivy League school makes you feel really average, when competing with rich kids who went to private school and had tutors. The primary advantage I received from the GT program was SAT tutoring probably. Bumped my score from a 1600 to a 2300. That and the summer extracurricular courses. Those really help on your college applications. I'm gifted in art with no job related to show for it I'm just working at Starbucks and dealing with basic bitches trying to tell me how to do my job. Bitch, I have the certified barista pin, I was trained for 60 hours, I've worked here for a little over 7 months. I know what I'm doing. Not exactly gifted, but I was one of those kids who was a sponge when it came to receiving information during my first six years of school. I think the teachers thought I was smarter than I actually was, but the truth was I could simply remember what I had been told or had read but wasn't exactly absorbing the data properly. Example, I could have told you that the three astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. I knew this because I saw it on a poster we had in my classroom every day. But if you were to probe a little deeper I couldn't have told you how they looked, where they took off from or literally any other details about the Apollo 11 mission because the poster didn't have this information to give. 
But this didn't stop them pushing me a little harder than they should have. I was always sent on trips for the gifted kids, was always picked first to answer questions and put aside for certain lessons because I would have known it already. I often did not, by the way. Soon as I hit secondary school I cut that shit right out, I just half assed my way through those five miserable years and really started enjoying smoking weed and getting drunk. Still managed to get into college and then university, got a degree, never used it and kept on chefing instead, I was working in kitchens throughout my education to support myself, until I saved enough to travel the world. In the last four years I have been to Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Malawi, Ireland, Scotland, Belgium, Singapore and Vietnam and have only visited home twice. So, I guess I'm doing okay. My memory is completely fried but I still kick ass at pub quizzes because I seem to retain interesting but utterly useless information that gives the impression of intellect, but really isn't the case.